Although I've just extolled the generality and importance of the center limit theorem, it's of interest to consider situations where the center limit theorem doesn't hold. And in a very important special case of this is when the distribution of single steps has an infinite mean value. This can be achieved by having a single step distribution with a power law tail. So let's now consider the single step distribution of the following form. I'll make it equal to 0 for x less than 1, and it will be equal to mu x to the minus 1 plus mu for x greater than 1. And I'm considering the situation where uh, mu is less than 1. And in, in this case, the mean value of the single step distribution, which you can easily verify for yourself, is equal to infinity. So this is a normalized distribution. I've chosen the constants and the cutoff here to be normalized. I've also chosen the short distance cutoff so there's no singularity near x equals 0. So it's a, it's a simple distribution, but one in which the mean value of x is equal to infinity. So in, for this uh, single step distribution, the precepts of the center limit theorem no longer hold, and one might ask, well, what is the mean displacement of this random walker? What is the probability distribution of displacements? The second question is, is not easy to answer, but the first question can be answered easily by reformulating this in a way that we can actually exploit the center limit theorem. And the basic idea is that while the mean value of this single step displacement is infinite, if I choose a finite number of steps from this distribution, each one of these steps will be finite. The typical length of, of this ensemble of steps will get longer and longer the more steps we choose in our ensemble. But for a fixed total number of steps, the largest value will be a finite number. And because of that finiteness, we can use it to, in some sense, fake the system out and actually apply the center limit theorem to the system where it seems like the center limit theorem should not apply. So let us consider n steps. And what I would argue is that for an ensemble of n steps, there is a largest value of x, which is determined by the following criterion. So let me call x max the longest step from the single step distribution. And it's determined by the following criterion. That the integral from x max to infinity of p of x dx is equal to 1 over n. So this is a very uh, simple but very important statement. It's basically uh, an estimate of the largest of a distribution of a bunch of random variables. And so pictorially what we have in mind here is that we have our distribution which looks something like this. The area under this curve should be equal to 1. So if we have any of these variables, the area under the curve should be equal to n. And x max is determined by saying that the area under the curve here is equal to 1 over n, which means that there's typically one step in the range from x max to infinity. And so this will be the criterion we use to estimate the, the magnitude of x max. So given this p of x over here, uh, it's a simple integral to do, and one finds that um, x max scales as n to the 1 over mu. So one sees that as one chooses mo long, more and more steps in your ensemble of, uh, of steps, that the longest step is gradually growing. But now the crucial point is that I'm going to use this effective largest step length to now define a p effective, an effective single step distribution in the following way. It's equal to 0 for x less than 1. It's also equal to 0 for x larger than x max. Because we know that for if we pick n steps, that there will typically not be a step larger than x max. And only in the intermediate range where x is less than x max and larger than 1, 
then we would have our power law distribution, so it's equal to mu divided by x to the minus 1 plus mu. And in order to make this one normalized properly, I have to divide by 1 minus x max to the minus mu. So this is an effective distribution that would appear, um, and it depends on the value of n. So the larger I make n, the larger x max is, the larger the power law range extends, but the crucial point is that because it extends only to a finite distance, this distribution satisfies the precepts of the central limit theorem because the mean value of the, of the position according to this uh, effective distribution is, uh, is finite. So let's verify that. Let's compute <coughs> x average for this effective distribution. And so this is equal to mu divided by 1 minus x max to the minus mu. The integral from 1 to x max, again, the integral only goes up to the largest possible step that could actually occur of the mean value. So it's x, the value we're averaging, times the distribution, which is um, x to the minus 1 plus mu dx. And this effective, or, or this uh, effective single step distance has three answers depending on the value of mu. So for mu bigger than 1, which is kind of an uninteresting region because the distribution is falling off sufficiently rapidly that the full distribution has a finite x average, but in this case this integral is, is finite because for mu greater than 1 uh, this is, uh, is, is a convergent integral. On the other hand, for mu less than 1, we have x max to the mi 1 minus mu. This is a divergent integral, and it diverges at the upper limit as x max to the minus mu. But this scales as n to the 1 over mu minus 1, because we found that x max itself scales as n to the 1, minus 1 divided by mu. So plugging into here, we have that x max is scaling as n to the 1 over mu minus 1. And again, mu here less than 1, so this is a positive power of n. When mu is equal to 1, then this is x, x to the minus 2, so it's x to the minus 1 dx, which is diverging logarithmically, and so we get log x max, which is scaling like log n, for mu is equal to 1. Let's now use this information to now compute the mean displacement after n steps of such a uh, random walk with a large distribution of step lengths. So I would say then that x average after n steps, this is nothing more than n times x effective, x average effective. Again, I'm using this fact because here in this previous uh, uh, slide, this Effective distribution satisfies all the precepts of the central limit theorem. So having found the mean displacement after a single step, the displacement after n steps is just n times a single step displacement. And so this thing has three answers depending on the value of mu. For mu greater than 1, which is the sort of uninteresting regime, the single step uh, this, this, the average of a single step was finite, and so this is equal to n times a finite value. For mu less than 1, we have n, and from the previous uh, slide we had times n to the 1 over mu minus 1, so this scales as n to the 1 over mu. And in the case where mu is equal to 1, where the uh, single s average of a single step was growing logarithmically with n, this grows like n log n. There's a very important lesson that emerges from this, which is that notice that in the anomalous regime where the exponent is less than 1, the mean displacement after n steps is n to the 1 over mu. But we saw from the previous uh, slide that x max for a single step scaled as n to the 1 over mu. So the displacement after n steps is roughly of the order of the longest step in the walk itself. So another feature of uh, this anomalous step distribution is that the longest step actually determines everything. 
And that is why in this case there is non-universal behavior because the details of the single step distribution are important as the longest step actually determines the displacement after n steps.